Again, one of the most important lessons that we teach in this uh, section is the idea of, of your student, the customer, understanding their receipt. It's amazing to me to know how many times an individual will go through a store, purchase a number of products, uh, pay the cashier or pay the owner and leave the store and never get a receipt for their, for their purchases. Now there are, there are some very important things about a customer asking for a receipt. First of all, it, it provides an opportunity for the, the shopkeeper or the store owner uh, or the cashier to be blatantly honest with your customer. I want to make sure that everything I've charged you for is indicated on the receipt. If there's something that I've charged you for that's not on the receipt, you're going to have a record of that and you're going to be able to come back to me and say, hey, uh, you charged me for this and I didn't get that. So checking the receipt is very, very important to do. We bring many examples of receipts into the Marketplace Literacy material and you'll see them there in the manuals. I also encourage you to gather up receipts from local vendors local sellers, local stores in your region, so that your, sh your shoppers, your customers, your students, can actually look at actual receipts and see what's listed on the receipt, how it's total. Does the date and time appear at the top or at the bottom? Uh, is the total at the top or at the bottom? How are the, the items listed and is the math correct? Now again, for some students, the idea of being able to read the product the product description on the receipt, being able to correctly add the amounts that are there may be beyond their capacities. Not to worry here, the idea is for them to ask for the receipt and be able to take the receipt with them. Because they may be able to, if not be able to add, perhaps count. And if there are nine items on my receipt and I only have eight items in my bag or in my cart, I need to go back to the shopkeeper at the store owner and say, hey, I have a problem here. Look, look and help me understand this. Uh, the receipt also can be utilized in another way. And that is, how closely did the receipt match up with what? Oh yes, let's not forget our shopping list. Did we accurately gauge our shopping list? Did we get the things we went for and did we purchase those things? Uh, if not, a great time before we leave the store to match those two up and see there's a one-to-one -one correlation there and yes, oh my God, I forgot to get the flour or the sugar. I need to quickly go back into the store and get that before I leave, take transportation, leave the store and then get home back to the village and realized, oh my goodness, I forgot to get the sugar and that's a very important thing. So again, the idea of the receipt here uh, is, is an interesting opportunity and again, I encourage you to look at local receipts uh, from vendors and merchants that your students work with and participate with, take a look at them and uh, get a really good, hard understanding of how those receipts work for, for those vendors and for your students.